okay YouTube I thought I'd just jump on and give you a quick uh, video update uh, seeing as now we are out of the winter season so this video I'm gonna give you all the stats for our heat pump performance this winter it's our third winter since we installed the system but before I get to the stats some quick headlines we live in a Victorian terraced house uh, with double glazing with some loft insulation and a small modern extension we have fairly normal radiators and we have a small area of underfloor heating. We have been warm and cozy all winter. We've had plenty of hot water um, for baths and showers and hand washing and washing up and all that kind of stuff. The heat pump has not been particularly noisy, even on the coldest nights where it's been negative outside for a few days. Um, and I get all my data from a dedicated electricity meter and heat meter connected to the heat pump. And that's separate from the heat pump controller. So my data is taken from those dedicated meters. The heat pump has used loads of electricity, but a gas boiler would have used more gas. And I'll give you some comparison on costs later in the video. Okay, there are the headlines. Uh, and that answers a few of the questions that I tend to get on these videos. So let's get straight into the stats for this winter. So I'm gonna assume that winter is between the 30th of November and the 21st of March. That's what I'm calling the winter season this year. And in that time, we've used 2,334 kilowatt hours of electricity to deliver 7,933 kilowatt hours of heat. That gives us an efficiency over the whole winter of 340% or what we call a coefficient of performance or a COP of 3.4. So how much would have that cost for us to heat this winter? If we're on a standard variable tariff over the last few months, let's assume the Octopus Energy tariff uh, with the standard rate of about 23.4 pence, that would have cost us 546 pounds and 16 pence. We're not on that tariff, we're on the smart tariff called Octopus Agile, and our average rate over the winter has been 16 pence. So our real costs have been 373 pounds and 44 pence for all our heating and hot water this winter. If we compare that to a gas boiler providing, providing the same heat and comfort at 90% efficiency, that would have used 8,814 kilowatt hours of gas. With a unit rate of 6p for each kilowatt hour of gas, this would have cost us 528 pounds to heat over the winter. So a little bit less expensive than a heat pump on the standard tariff, 18 pounds less, but a lot more expensive than our heating on the Agile tariff, 155 pounds more expensive. There are also gas uh, smart gas tariffs like the Octopus Tracker tariff, um, that, and that looks like it's been around four and a half pence throughout this winter. And that would have give, had a cost of 396 pounds to heat uh, with a gas boiler on the Tracker tariff. So our heat pump on the Agile tariff has won the winter by 23 pounds. So not much in it. But most importantly, assuming the factors for electricity and gas through the greenhouse gas reporting protocol, the heat pump would have had emissions of around 470 kilograms of CO2. A gas boiler would have had emissions of 1,613 kilograms of CO2 or over 1,100 kilograms more. So the heat pump was over 71% lower emissions than a 90% efficient gas boiler providing the same heat and the same comfort. Great, this is sounding really good. And finally, let's compare to previous winters. So we used 148 kilowatt hours less electricity than last year and 332 kilowatt hours less than the year before. But we delivered 264 kilowatt hours more heat than two years ago and 753 kilowatt hours more heat than last year, which means our efficiency has increased by 17% from last year. Probably because some of the changes that we've made because of the feedback I've got on Twitter and YouTube. So thanks, crew. So in summary, we've had 70% lower emissions. It's been cheaper to run for us on the Agile tariff, but a bit more expensive if we're on a standard tariff. We've been lovely and warm all winter, and we've been happy in our low emissions home. You could almost call us smug. 
Thank you for watching. I hope that's helpful. Please do comment if you've got any questions. Feel free to book in a call with me if you wanted to talk things through uh, on the Calendly link below. And if you're looking for heat pump quotes, why not try Eco Experts in the link below as well. And finally, if you like these videos and wanted to support me doing them, then please feel free to buy me a coffee again in the link below. Cheers.